Somebody has uh, sent me on this on the Vatican Synod website. Uh, Father Dave Nix posted it and, so, and a friend of mine retweeted it to me saying, thinking they were a little bit concerned about what was being said here. Um, and Father Dave Nix really, really has done a disservice to Catholicism by not putting this in full context um, and by saying by attributing this quote to the Synod when it's not from the Synod. You know, we have to be careful where we lead Catholics and not create division in the church. So Father Dave Nix has said, Vatican Synod website, page 29. What is a merciful heart? It's a heart on fire for the whole of creation, for humanity, for the birds, for the animals, for demons and for all that exists. He's put that quote there in a tweet and then he said, See official Synod website. Now, there's a lot of confusion here. But this quote has absolutely nothing to do with the Synod that the Pope has called. This is a very, very, very ancient text. And I remember seeing this a few years ago and trying to understand, well, how how d- did this text come from? And it's, of course, it's on the, they're, they're quoting it here in the Vatican document and it's from First Collection Homily 74. And this is from, it's a direct quote from a homily by St. Isaac the Syrian on compassion. What is a merciful heart? It is the heart's burning for the sake of entire creation. For men, for birds, for animals, for demons, for every created thing. And by the recollection and sight of them, the eyes of the merciful man forth pour forth abundant tears for the strong and vehement mercy which grips his heart and from his great compassion. His heart is humbled and he cannot bear to hear or see any injury or slight sorrow in creation. For this reason, he continually offers up tearful prayer, even for irrational beasts, for the enemies of the truth and for those who harm him, that they may be protected and receive mercy and in a like manner he even prays for the family of reptiles because of the great compassion that burns in his heart without the measure and in the likeness of God. Now people need to understand when you read these things that you need to always put them in the light of the tradition of the church the era in which the saint lived um, because you will find as you read into Catholicism that uh, it, some things will strike you. I remember one saint saying, um, I will go to hell if Christ was there or, or someone, something like that. If Christ is, uh, you know, I'd, I'd pass my life in hell if Christ was there, that they would, that they're, and, and I thought, oh God, that's a very strange quote. But, you know, taking quotes out of context and not putting them in their correct position, you know, causes confusion. And this quote has been around in the church for centuries, centuries. Um, And, you know, OK, they've quoted it now in in the synodal document. But, you know, really, if you're go- if you're a priest, especially a priest, God, I mean, you have a responsibility to educate Catholics. And Father Dave Nix has really lost the plot by not educating Catholics as to that exact quote. You know, because it's causing consternation. It's going, oh, look, this is another nail in the head about the synod. Look what they've quoted here. Blah, 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 blah. Look, guys, read the history of the church. Read the church fathers. Read the church fathers in context. You know, there's... um. I mean, uh, if you read all of the lives of the saints, you see, I, there's another, I think it's St. Julian of Norwich has something similar um, on this same strand, this, this, this heart for compassion, this, this, this compassion for the whole creation. Um, and you need to, when you read them, you need to read them in the whole context of who they were, how they wrote and so forth. So I, I really have to kick back on Father Dave. I think as a priest, it's a low blow. It's a low blow 
to be honest. It's a low blow for your followers. It's a low blow and another low blow for a Catholic priest to not be able to quote that quote in context of where it came from. You know, St. Isaac the Syrian. And, you know, the best thing would, Father Dave, now, honestly, just delete the tweet or issue an apology because you're really, you're undermining the Catholic faith and you're undermining when you don't need to undermine it in this in this particular circumstances. We do not. There is nothing wrong with quoting Saint Isaac the Syrian on compassion. There is nothing wrong with quoting him. He's a saint of the church, and that quote has been around for centuries. Um. So you know, very sad to see this. Um. Uh, but like, we we just have to be careful on on you know how we how we manage um you know how we manage and how we quote because you know people may not understand this and that's why it's important you know to read uh, the church fathers in context to read quotes in context uh, in the era you know um the early church fathers you know you have you know different things that 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 you know you could you could read and you say well the, this doesn't make sense to me how can how can we have how can we have compassions compassion for demons um but you know that's where it's important to read saint isaac the syrian in his full context and understand you know how he wrote because this was a saint that had a, an incredible heart you know he loved you know he couldn't bear, so there are some saints that can't bear to understand how anything could be separated from God. How, how we could, uh, you know, how, how even demons in a strange way could be separated from their God that created them. Uh, and this is a, is, it's a mystery. And so, you know, it's important that these things are given in context. Anyway, I just want to put that out there on my channel. You know, I'm going to challenge Father Nix. You're undermining the faith. You're undermining the church. You're creating confusion where there is no need to create confu confusion on the faith. You know, the Senate, the Vatican Synod is fully entitled to quote church fathers. They're fully entitled. Now, it's up to us. Uh, there'll be debates, there'll be discussions, and there will be strong disagreements and so forth. But there, I see no issue in quoting St. Isaac the Syrian on compassion. No issue. I mean, it, it is... It has been in the around the church for centuries, um, you know. But look, you know this. This is why um, it's important that we put it in context and not create division where there's no need to create division, and there is no need to create division around quoting Saint Isaac the Syrian. Anyway, God bless you. Take care. Bye bye.